President Muhammad Buhari meets President Donald Trump of the United States. Security, economy, and other issues are on the table. What are the talking points? We'll break them down for you. The Nigeria and United States take trade partnership, intelligence, cooperation, and press President Muhammad Buhari meets with his U.S. counterpart. And that is a focus on the program tonight. Many thanks for joining in. Everyone is 291 days to Nigeria's general election in 2019. This is Politics Today Live on Channel's television. I'm Shane Wakimale in Lagos. Everyone, grab a seat, everyone. It promises to be interesting and fast-paced as President Buhari has met his United States counterpart, Donald Trump. President confirmed the sale of 12 to Keno aircrafts to Nigeria and there are many other issues that it uh, spoke about earlier today. Uh, don't forget that the President of the United States did say Nigeria is a valued partner and great friend and the United States is committed to working alongside uh, as Nigeria as, as they seek a future of strength, property and peace uh, for both of the countries. And also, the Nigerian president spoke about what they discussed at the White House, including the issues of agriculture, uh, trade partnerships, and what the United States is doing for Nigeria in terms of military assistance. Uh, joining me on the panel tonight to dissect these issues for you on the program, I have a former presidential media advisor, Mr. Uh, Dr. Ruben Abati, joins us on the program, and also a former federal lawmaker. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time on the program. It's interesting. How would you find or how did you see assess the uh, today's uh, visit of Nigeria's president to the White House? It's a very false president from sub-Saharan Africa visiting uh, Donald Trump White House. Let me start with you, Dr. Abati. Well, first, you, you, you use the phrase sub-Saharan Africa, and I, I think we need to deal with that. Uh, you know, at a point where... African countries are talking about integration and North Africa and the various economic blocs are beginning to come together and talk about a common African front, economically, politically, uh, in terms of cooperation. I think it's becoming a misnomer for us to be dividing Africa into, you know, North Africa, Arab Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa. So when I heard the phrase, Sub-Saharan Africa, I was a bit disturbed. So, uh, this is something we need to address, not just on this program, but also internationally. Because the objective of the AU and other groups in Africa is to see an integrated Africa that you speak of in a unified sense. Okay? So President Buhari is not the first African leader uh, to visit the White House. But the first African leader by the, by yeah, the first African Trump. leader to visit is the uh, former Egyptian president, uh, Sisi. Yeah, yeah uh, Sisi. Okay, so let's deal with that. So labeling has also its own relevance, its own import in international politics.